Hello everybody. In this example, I'm going to go over how to use the sample size calculator for discrete data. Now to access this template, open Sigma Excel, select templates and calculators, basic statistical templates, and sample size discrete. Now when it opens up, the template gives the following default values. P is the estimate of proportion for outcome of interest. Use P equals 0.5 if unknown. Delta is desired proportion margin of error. Enter as the half width. For example, if the desired margin of error is plus or minus 3%, enter 0.03. You can enter a population size to adjust for small populations. For example, a population size of less than 10,000. NP should be greater than or equal to 5. If necessary, reduce the delta to adjust. And the power, or 1 minus beta, is not considered in these calculations. Power and sample size may be calculated by going to Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, and power and sample size calculators. Now the sample size calculator is based on a confidence interval approach where you enter the desired half interval value. Let's say that you desire the proportion margin of error to be plus or minus 3%. You'd simply enter a delta or half interval value of 0.03. The challenge with this sample size calculator is that we need an estimate of the population proportion. This is a bit of a chicken and egg situation. Which one comes first? I want to calculate an appropriate sample size to determine an outcome but I'm being asked to enter an estimate of the population proportion. Keep in mind that this tool is a planning tool. The true confidence intervals will be determined after you collect your data. Estimating the population proportion can be done if you have good historical data to draw from. For example, in historical customer surveys, the percentage of satisfied customers was 80%. In this case, you could use a p-value of 0.8. If you do not have a priori knowledge, then leave p equal to 0.5, which gives the most conservative value. For example, the largest estimate of the sample size. If you enter a value other than 0.5, it will result in a smaller sample size requirement. Thanks for watching, and I'm happy to let you know that all of our sample size templates are now available for the iPad and iPhone, as long as you have the Numbers application.